Hi and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner and today I'm going to be showing you a little comparison of Svelte versus React. Now you might have heard of Svelte, maybe you haven't tried it out yet. Svelte is a new way of building web applications. Uh, it's a web component framework, I guess. And just to show you kind of how it works, I'm here on the Svelte homepage at svelte.dev. And I'm going to click on the REPL here. The REPL is a easy little way for you to try out Svelte on your own. And uh, I'm going to show you, this is, this is the hello world example that you get when you first come to the REPL. Uh, and I want to show you, let's have a look at React hooks. So if you go to the React, if you just Google React hooks, you'll probably find this page. Um, although it might change in the future, of course. And just, I want to look at this first example of how to use React hooks. They have this kind of a hello world example. It's a, a counting button. So it's a button here, and you click it. It says click me, and the text will change. So it'll say you clicked zero times, you clicked one times, and so on. And let's just walk through how it works. So you're probably familiar with this if you've used React hooks already. If not, that's all right. First thing we're doing is importing React. This lets us use JSX. And use state is the uh, hook for, for state. Then we're declaring our component using a function, giving it a name example. First thing we do here is set up our state. So we're calling use state. We're passing it the default zero. So the count starts at zero. And we're getting back an array, which we're then destructuring into two variables. First variable count being the current count. Second variable is set count, which lets us change the count. Next thing we do is we return some JSX. Of course, we have to have our build process set up for JSX, but regardless, we return some markup. Looks like HTML, basically. Uh, one difference is we have this on click. So that's similar to HTML on click, but here we're passing it an actual function. So when the button gets clicked, we're calling set count. We're setting the new count to the old count plus one. And then, of course, we're telling the user how many times they've clicked. So let's let's recreate this whole thing in Svelte and see what's different. I'm just going to paste in the whole thing. It's not going to work right away. Um, actually, most of it's not going to work. So I'm going to take out this React import line. We don't need that. We don't need the function declaring the component because the file itself is the component. We do need some state. So I'm going to make a script tag here for our state. We don't return the markup. That sort of stays in the body. So we don't need that. And I can... So this is sort of how it works. But that's not working yet. We don't have use state. The way this works, you'll, you might be surprised, is we're just going to set let count equals zero. So instead of doing this destructuring, ending up with a setter, calling use state, setting a default. The default is just what we set our variable to, and the state is just a variable in Svelte. So I can take this out. And this mostly works, except now we don't have a set count function. So what we can do, instead of calling a function to set count, we're just going to set count equals count plus one. And this doesn't work still. The one thing we need to change is the React on click. In Svelte, it's on colon click. And now it works. We can actually simplify this. We can make a count plus plus. We don't need to say count equals count plus one. That works as well. So let's compare. We took out boilerplate, boilerplate. Uh, boilerplate we simplified to just be a variable. Boilerplate we took out the return and all that's left is some HTML with with some special markup so that we can put our data in there. Special click handler. And our local state is just a variable. Just let count equals zero. It can be any simpler. Actually if you if you said you had something simpler than Svelte, I would be I would have a hard time believing that because if you look at this, what 
what could be simpler? Like, what could you take out? I don't know. As far as I can see, there's nothing you could take out at this point to make it simpler. You can make some weird little shortcuts or something, but to me, this is this is as simple as I want my component to be. And then that, that's uh, pretty much just what I wanted to show you today. Svelte is really cool, very simple, very minimal boilerplate, basically no boilerplate. Um, very powerful. Check it out. That's svelte.dev. I'm very excited about it. I've been using it a lot lately, and uh, hope you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. Cheers.